Yeah, I am. Okay. I found the setting where it doesn't automatically skip uh, cutscenes. So I did um, say at the end of the last video that I did on this Let's Play, I would show you the cinematic. So let me just load it real quick. There we go. Right, this is the scene. This is the cutscene that was skipped after Act One was finished. It was all just stories. My uncle saw what he wanted to see. Deckard sacrificed much to protect this world. But his work is not over. What would you know about the sacrifice? Imperial. The ancient law of the High Heaven strictly forbids us from interfering with the mortal world. Yet you have done so brazenly. All I am guilty of, Imperius, is bringing justice while you hide, cowering behind your throne. Silence! Now answer for your transgressions! You cannot judge me! I am justice itself! We were meant for more than this. To protect the innocent. But if our precious laws bind you all to inaction, then I will no longer stand as your brother. Now. You chose to be one of us. Oh, what? Yep, okay. Yeah, there we go. Alright, uh... Where's the hero that... That was it, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. Well, I remember he was a demon hunter. So because Teriel fell from heaven, um... It was in a form of, like, an... It was like an asteroid, um, like landing on the Earth, and that, and light causes, um, attracts the dead, so that's why they rose, and, um, yeah. So, not just zombies, but ghosts, um, demons, and skeletons. That's why you saw, saw so many of them in, um, Cathedral. Okay. 
Oh, I need to do paragon points. Oh, I just chose random ones. Here we are, Chaldeum, Jewel of the East. Uncle Deckard loved this place. He wouldn't now that it is under the spell of Belial, Lord of Lies. I can smell his stench from here. We'll have to separate. You two search for Belial, while I track down Magda and make her pay for Cain's death. Magda? Says it really weird. Anyway. Oh. Don't want to do that. Actually, how's my inventory looking? Okay, yeah. That's good. Don't care, squirt the peddler. Actually, if you wouldn't notice, uh, during World of the General, there was one of the the pet battle masters that showed up in your gas, and uh, one of them was um, Squirt the Peddler, so that's a Diablo 3 thing. Tell me, God, why are all these refugees here? I am not a god. I am a Shearer, commander of the Iron Wolves. We saved these refugees from Magda's coven, but even now wreaks havoc throughout the borderlands. I have been hunting Magda all the way from New Tristram. Where can I find her? She's heading toward Alcarnas, but has blocked the road behind her. However, there is another way. Through the Kasim outpost. Have you heard? Emperor Hakan blew his entire court out of the city. They're trapped out here with the rest of us. There is some justice in this world, after all. Justice? <laughs> They're a load of pompous fools. But even they don't deserve what's coming tonight. What happens tonight? They're wearing jewels worth more than any of us see in a year. And they have to sleep sometime. <laughs> okay. Tyrael and I learned that while the Iron Wolves were fighting Magda in the desert, the Emperor replaced them with Imperial Guards who bar off from the inner city. I suspect that the Iron Wolves were sent out to die. Belial has made his move. We must find a way into the city. As a child, I explored Chaldeum while Uncle Deckard studied here. I can get in through the sewers. Good. Learn what you can. We'll reconvene after I've killed Magda. Be careful. Alcarnas sounds like Magda's trap. Yeah. This gate leads to Alcarnas. You will need to follow the long road over the canyon bridge and through the Kasim outpost. We haven't heard anything from the Iron Wolves in the desert. If you make it to the Kasim outpost, Seek out Captain David. Okay. Something tells me this will be an interesting journey. What makes you think that? Take heed, traveler. Cultists guard these desert roads, and they will slay any who pass. I've heard. I traveled here to kill them and their leader. Then you must not go alone. I shall accompany you. Well, now, it's my lucky day. There are illusions out there. Mirages to some, but I can see them for what they are the coven's foul magic. They will lead you to your death. Thanks for the warning, but I would rather not discuss this sand wasp. These overgrown insects wouldn't be notable whatsoever if not for their exceptionally poisonous stings, which, alas, killed my young apprentice. I thought he would be more careful when I sent him to retrieve a sample from the hive, but. <laughs> His parents did not understand my perspective. The Lacuni, or Panther Men as they are sometimes called, have inhabited the desert wastes east of Chaldeum for thousands of years. The large males are the tribe's okay. leaders and protectors, while the agile females are expert hunters. Mostly they are primitive and reclusive creatures, although they will attack if cornered or hungry. Careful, they are very near to us. What do you mean? The road is blocked. You should never have come. Demons were faced on your bones. Yeah, you're saying. <laughs> How did you know about the ambush? I am an enchantress. The ways of magic and illusion are familiar to me. My name is Arena. My thanks, Irena. 
It seems you are doing a lot more than saving travelers, though. Well, I am also looking for someone. But here, let me clear the way for you. Come on in. Kill the Lacuni, attack the Iron Wolves. Captain, from behind! Protect the people! Iron Wolves! If not for you, the Lacuni would have eaten well this day. Will I need to slaughter more Lacuni on my way to Alcanus? Ha! Those beasts are nothing compared to the cultists. They are casting spells in two of their desert lairs to obscure the Black Canyon Bridge. Let us head north to the Howling Plateau. The cultist magic seems to be emanating from there. Okay. Who are the Lacuni? Um, the Lacuni are another. There's another illusion here. The cultists try to hide their footsteps. Their spells are weak and easily countered. If we follow these prints, we can find their lairs and halt the. It seems that the. I will seek out any other traces of. The Dune Thresher is an elusive being with a tremendous capacity for bloodshed. It lurks beneath the sands. Rising up to seize prey in its jaws and rend the body until it is but sinew and gore. I... I once saw a thresher in the flesh and it rather disagreed with my constitution. My studies indicate that a high-level cleric of the Zakarun named Akan began to send... Look! More hidden footprints! Really? <clears throat> Ow. Who are the Lakuni there? Another, um... Evolved race, so they were once humans, except um, these ones have been evolved into well, another creature, obviously, like the um, this is one of the Kazda. The they are casting part of the illusion inside. Dark Berserker. The ritual is. There should be another ritual at a cellar to the east of here. Out of my way. Kata. This hero means to attack you in Alcanus. If I were you, I would set a trap at the Cassim outpost. But I am not you. For all I know, you wish to fail me again and force me to kill you. That would grieve me, though somehow I think I could manage it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the message is supposed to go to Magda, so she might have already known Look, that. Look, more hidden footprints. Oh, yeah. oh. Who is Belial? He is uh, one of the last two Lords of Hell that we need to kill. Uh, he is the Lord of Lies, so he can hide behind anyone. And he's like Kill Jaden from World of Warcraft. He can deceive anyone and trick them into doing something. Well, catastrophic. More Lacuni. Actually, what other Lacuni? Uh, Volto. Panthers. Look. More hidden footprints. Eesh, it's taking a long time. Oh, treasure chest. Akan gathered the most devout, driven, and martial Zakarum adherents. He taught them to channel the power of light in the same way that the newly founded paladins were being trained. But these recruits, these crusaders, were given insight into the primal powers of Zakarum in a way no paladin ever was. Look, more hidden footprints. Oh. Yeah, it is. This is one of the cultist lairs. They are casting yeah, yeah, yeah. part of the illusion inside. As long as you aren't an illusion too. 
Whatever do you mean? It's kind of main knife, London. The ritual is disrupted. There, that ought to dispel the coven's magic. Let us go to the bridge. It is with some reluctance that I write on the seven lords of hell, for they are the greatest of the demons, and even whispering their names seems to poison the air around me. They are divided into the lesser evils, Belial, Asmodan, Juriel, and Andaril, and the prime evils, Mephisto, Baal, and Diablo. Tell me, what shall you do when Magda is dead? I will kill her master Belial and his brother Asmodan. The long shadows of the Lords of Hell will be lifted from this world. How curious. You must be the one I was meant to find here. Which is, inter which is interesting, because... In you could say that all the, um... All the Lords of Hell are linked. Like family wise, because Blah and Asmodan are brothers. Duriel and Andariel are siblings. That just leaves Bale, Mephisto, and Diablo out. I think so they could be like brothers in crime. I am not from Chaldeum. I learned these spells 1500 years ago. My sisters and I pledged our service to a man of great power. We called him the Prophet. He trained us and placed us in a magical slumber. To awaken in this era, I am to prevent the Lords of Hell from invading. I would scarcely believe it if I hadn't seen your spells with my own eyes. You must have waited for this even longer than I have. Please, join me. Um, uh, now nah, keep the scandal for now. The Kasim outpost can't be far. And hopefully there will be some scantily clad women there to welcome us. <laughs> you think that's gonna be friendly to Alcanus? No, it's just demons. Um, if I'm mistaken, yeah, go this way. Oh, oh what's this? Abandon the cellar. Stay back. Don't come any closer. Okay. Oh, thank you. They captured us to use as bait. Please, take anything you need from the cellar. We owe you everything. Sure will. <clears throat> anyway, back to finding the Kasima outpost. Do -do 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 -do. Can I raise the difficulty? I can. Let's. That's even the playing field of it. Kill them all. Gun them death. Actually, you filth. In this universe, there's no real. Too low. Um. What do you call it? Ammunition. Because no, like cannonballs, except for one person. Um, what was his name? Urzael. He had a big um. He had a big hand cannon, or something. It's kind of like a rocket launcher, but it had like fireballs in it. I don't. Know. I don't know if that actually counts. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, other metal. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, new skill. Okay, um, the primary skulls generate an additional 4 hatred. 
Increasing damage against slow. Oh, no. That's bad. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. <clears throat> Must be almost there. Oh, there's another lost satchel. Belial, Lord of Lies, is the most elusive of the seven evils and is a master of deceit. It is said that he manipulated Asmodan into revolt against the prime evils. This began the Burning Hell's civil war, which ended with the dark exile of the prime evils to our mortal realm. Captain of the Guard, you are hereby ordered to send a band of your most loyal men to secure the Kasim outpost. Control of the city hangs by a thread. The commoners are becoming restless, and it is imperative that we subdue them. Remain vigilant, for there may already be an outsider within our borders looking to stir up trouble. I don't I need to reach Alcanus. Please open the gate. You must be mad. But if you're intent on rushing headlong to your death, talk to Captain David down in the command post. He's got the gate key. Never trust Imperial Guards. Yeah, Here save. you are, delivered unto me as a sacrifice, a gift from Lord Belial. Really, Magda? Or did Belial send you here as bait to lure me away from Chaldeum? I will kill you, you know. No! He would never betray me! Strike him down! Belial is the Lord of Lies, Magda. The truth is, you were dead the minute you killed Cain. These serpentine demons are Belial's favored servants, and he has granted them some of his skill in cunning and illusion. Deceivers will cloak themselves in the familiar forms of their enemies' companions and friends, waiting to strike when the moment is opportune. It is only then that their true forms are revealed. Not a moment too soon. They plan to sacrifice us to Belial. Iron Wolves, take back the town! Okay. We've been discovered. Yeah, you have. Okay. Arcanus. Yes, we've heard rumors of a horrible slaughter there. Then I cannot delay any longer. Open the gate. Alcanus is close. 